CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. The nucleus just dropped. Now what are you going to do? What's your next step? How are you going to solve this case? What are you going to do to tell the patient? Let's watch this case now. Patient referred to you with this white cataract. It's already been stained with tripan blue dye. So now going in with a needle to the limbus there and then just aspirating and doing some puncture there of the lens capsule to get that liquefied lens cortex out. So depressurizing the bag. And look, it kind of looks reasonable there, right? All righty. So far, so good. Now, what do you want to do? Maybe that double rexus technique, maybe start off by making a baby rexus first and then further decompress. There you go. I like this idea. There you go. And now we'll decompress it. Hey, let me tell you about Retina Rounds, our sister channel. So much great material. I promise you're going to love it. You really have to do yourself the favor and check it out because a case like this, you're going to need to know some retina things. Now, going in with the eye probe, this is just aspirating to try to debulk this. And yeah, try to rock the nucleus back and forth to get out any lens material that's liquefied that's behind the nucleus, between the nucleus and the posterior capsule. But the question is, why did the patient get a white cataract? And the history here is important. What if the patient got a white cataract a month after an intravitreal injection? Well, now what are you thinking? I think you hit the lens capsule. So now let's see, starting on to make that second rexus here, make it a little bit bigger, kind of measuring that out. All righty. Careful, don't let that thing run out. Ooh, it's getting close there. All right, bringing it around, bring it around. Again, I may do the little maneuver here, and it's going to run out otherwise. Oh, boy, I think it's gone. There's the little maneuver. Is it gone? It is probably gone. Okay, now go around the other side perhaps and get that rexus enlarged this way maybe. And that's reasonable. Listen, that looks pretty good. Now you got to be careful. You've got one area where the rexus ran out. Not sure if you were able to capture that with the other, the clockwise rexus. But we're going to find out here. So now we've slowed the video down. The beginning of the video we had at two times normal speed. Now we're going to normal speed here and trying to rotate it. And yeah, you probably don't need a whole lot of hydrodissection. A lot of times these patients with a white cataract with a cortex is liquefied, there you go. They can spin right away. So that one looks pretty good. I don't know if there's any capsule or posterior capsule weakness yet. I mean, you saw the title slide, you know what's gonna happen. Let's watch the video here, we're watching it together. I'm watching it for the first time with you. And let's see, going with Faco Probe here, okay. Faco Probe going inside the eye, let's see the technique here. And you just don't wanna put stress on the bag, especially in that one area. But let's see the technique here, okay, just kind of Chopper going in, okay, perhaps a chop technique here. Let's see what we're gonna do, maybe a, uh, we're gonna do a groove down the middle, maybe stop and chop, let's take a look. And, all right, here's a groove down the middle, there it is. Oh, no, we're not a groove, there's just a chop, okay, I like that. And it looks like it chops okay. Ooh, but it looks a little deeper now. Is the nougat being pushed away a little bit? Hmm, maybe the bag's already open. Let's find out. Rotating it. Okay, so far it looks reasonable. But obviously we know what's going to happen here. There you go. Another chop. Mm, all right. Fibrous lens doesn't want to propagate too much. And now let's see if you can chop it again. And again, that one piece is looking awfully deep in the eye there, underneath that chopper. And I think you just lost... Uh, it's gone. You just lost a couple pieces. You just lost them. The bag is open. This piece that we're, you know, the para is dangling. And the other, there goes the whole thing. Ba 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 bye It's going, you don't, don't chase after it. Let it go. Let it go here. Now, what do you want to do? What's the answer here? Well, let's stabilize things. Now, why did it rip? Was that, it looks kind of, maybe it was that area where the rexus ran out and kind of zipped to the posterior capsule. Maybe that's it. Hmm. Not 100% sure, but yeah, this is the point of disbelief. Like, oh my gosh, I just can't believe this happened. You need to call for some more viscoelastic here. You want to inject through the paracetamol, get the anterior chamber kind of deepened up here. You could put a little triampsilone right now also to see if you already have any vitreous prolapse in the anterior segment of the eye. If you do, you should probably clean that up. But you know what? You can also just put the viscoelastic, stabilize it, suture the main incision, and refer the patient to your vitretinal colleague. And that is my advice to you. 100% of cataract surgeons, even the best ones on the planet, have had a case like this where the capsule breaks and the nucleus drops in the vitreous cavity. That's okay. It's known to happen. You cannot go your career without that happening to you at least a few times. 
So what are we going to do here? I like this. Yeah, go on the parent, stabilize, inject. Oh, Prime Sin Loan. Okay, at least good idea. And let's see how much is of the... I don't think you have too much vitreous prolapse here. I just put a little bit of scholastic there to kind of tamponade. And then refer to your vitreous alcoholic. Now, should you put a lens in and clean... You could clean up the whole anterior segment and put the lens in, etc. But if you got a great vitreous alcoholic, you could also just send the patient to them, a fake it. Suit you the main incision. Tell them the correct power lens for the sulcus. And let the, the retina surgeon do the pars plane of vitrectomy, pars plane of lensectomy. There you go, injecting viscoelastic interestingly through the main incision instead of the side port. And maybe that's because a larger 25 gauge cannula instead of the typical 27 gauge. But yes, yeah, send to your vitreal colleagues. That's the answer. The answer to the cataract quiz is send this to your vitreal colleagues, share the love and the liability with the retina folks. Everything will be okay for the patient. And that's why you should definitely check out retinarounds.com, our sister channel.